first juice I'm going to drink is this one. Let's see how this goes. I am in the middle of an experiment. Feeling very lightheaded and I need to faint. I'm putting my health and sanity on the line for the next five days. It's really made me under-energized, undernourished all the time. By doing a five-day juice cleanse. Ooh. Wait, let's what? Why, you ask? Uh, well, let's go back to the beginning. We're all familiar with supermarket fruit juices. Orange, apple, guava, pomegranate. The choices are endless. Do you normally buy juice like this at the supermarket? Yeah, good lah. It's healthy drinks for us lah, rather than the kids drinking soft drinks. It seems to be much more healthier. <laughs> normally it's state lah, no sugar or natural. Being the healthier choice has caused more of these juices to fly off our supermarket shelves. Demand for ready-made packet juices has gone up by 15% from 2015. We like to think that the juices we buy come completely from fruits. But one quick look at the label shows a different story. Preservatives, additives and flavourings. In this episode, I want to find out what's really in the fruit juices we drink and if it's as healthy as people think it is. I'm starting my investigation at the source. Sunfresh is one of 11 juice manufacturers based in Singapore. Here, at this factory, they bottle up to 35,000 cartons of juice every day. So here is where all the different types of juices are made. So juices will have more than 60% of fruit content. All these additives that you see here, sodium benzoate and potassium sorbates, are the very common preservatives used in uh, beverages, such as juices. So right. this actually helps to prevent growth bacteria that right. grow during the prolonged storage. Now, the most common preservatives is uh, ascorbic acid or what we all know as vitamin C. So this is actually also a form of preservative. And there's one more ingredient on this list called others. Basically, it's sugar and uh, those all sorts of sweeteners. Sugar is usually added to fruit juice drinks to make up for the loss of flavour. But they're not harmful to our health in any way. The true SFA has set a guideline of the maximum level. So as long as it's used within the a permissible limit, then it will be safe. We do have no added sugar juice with a shorter list of ingredients. So basically, it's just uh, some addition, you know, like uh, preservatives. But okay. it will have a shorter shelf life. We also have an alternative option where the juices are made directly from the fruits. Let me show you. Yes, please. Mm, I love the smell of this part of the factory. You know? Oh, it's because of the oranges. Oh, wow. So this is where the freshly squeezed juices are made. For this freshly squeezed, usually there is no any additional ingredients. So that's why this juice is usually more expensive. So our supermarkets are filled with fruit juices which may look similar, but are deceptively different. The healthier choices are no added sugar, which has no sugar added to the juice and freshly squeezed, which has no ingredients added and is freshly made. These fresh juices have the shortest shelf life among all supermarket juices. But dietitian Lynette Go is not sure that any of them would be the best choice. So she wants to show me through a simple experiment. Lynette has brought a cola drink, a cola drink with less sugar, and a chocolate drink, as well as three bottles of orange juice. A normal store bought orange juice with the longest shelf life, no added sugar orange juice which has less preservatives, and freshly squeezed, the one with no preservatives. We're going to ask people if they can guess which drink contains the least amount of sugar. So today we'd like you to arrange these six different types of drinks okay. according to how much sugar they have from right. the lowest amount the to the highest. Right. Yep, sure. there you go. Alright, this is the lowest here. Yeah. I mean, there's 
well. Okay. Why do you arrange it this way? Why? Because I know Kola has about 30 to 40 percent sugar. Mm -hmm. The less sugar isn't very much different from them. Chocolate mm -hmm. drinks usually a lot of sugar added. Freshly squeezed juice, I think, just natural fructose. Some mostly are fresh. I mean, more, more vitamin. Lynette, would you like to give him the answers? So you have the cola drink here. This one, okay. yeah, just goes here. Actually, this one goes here. While we like to think that our fruit juices are the healthiest option, they contain 20 grams to 22.5 grams of sugar. Meaning that regardless of label, they are all nearly as unhealthy as drinking a cola drink. I would thought freshly squeezed would be lesser because it's natural, right? So I got mislead by no sugar. So actually yeah. there's sugar. Well, even though there's no added sugar, there's still natural sugar. You want to see how many cubes of sugar this actually is? How many sugar cubes do you think goes into one of these juices? Two. Two? Okay. Oh, she's got three. <laughs> and four. And five. <laughs> so there's five and a half cubes of sugar for the juices. Well, I think I'm quite surprised. Should be, health, should be healthy, isn't it? Well, if you think about it, you're just taking the sugar and the liquid from the fruit. So when you drink this, it actually increases your blood sugar levels as quickly as your cola drinks. No difference. So regardless of which type we buy, all our supermarket juices have nearly as much sugar as soft drinks. I wonder if there is a better option. Would this latest device, which produces juice that cost more than $10 a cup, be the answer? The hydraulic press exerts more than a thousand pounds of force onto the fruit. On average, the juices we buy from the supermarket contain about 20 teaspoons of sugar. That means with just four glasses of juice, you would have consumed more than double the daily sugar limit set by the Health Promotion Board. If supermarket juices aren't the healthiest option, maybe there's another kind of juice that could be healthier. Cold pressed juices. Since 2010, juice bars have been sprouting out across the island. Using elaborate machinery, these bars offer something called cold-pressed juice, which claims to be full of nutrients, geared towards fighting toxins and boosting one's immunity and health. I want to understand more about cold-pressed juices. Are they healthier than the packet juices I see in supermarkets? So I'm meeting Daryl Thumb. Since 2015, his company has sold over 100,000 bottles of cold-pressed juice. If you look at this over here, it's a cold-pressed juicer. This is compared with a centrifugal juicer where you find outside. When you say juices that you make at home and juices that you buy in supermarkets, they are produced with a centrifugal juicer. It spins at a very, very violent rate. What happens when it spins so quickly is that there's a lot of heat in the process mm -hmm. and a lot of air is, in, is introduced. When there's a lot of heat and air, it speeds up the oxidation rate. When fruits oxidize, the nutrients are degraded. Mm -hmm. And that's not what you want when you're consuming juices. So for cold press juices, because the grinder spins very quickly, mm -hmm. right, there is less heat introduced and less air introduced to, into the process. So what happens is that it slows down the rate of oxidation. Right. So after the grinder, the hydraulic press exerts more than a thousand pounds of force onto the fruits. What you get is 100% pure juice. So Daryl, cold press juicing is the best form of juicing. Why isn't everybody drinking it? The thing is that it's very expensive. So each bottle of our cold press juice costs $18. For $18, I'm drinking juice extracted using high pressure. The vitamins found in a bottle of cold-pressed juice is supposedly preserved than any other type of juice. 
But earlier I learned that all supermarket juices are chock full of sugar. Is it the same for these cold pressed juices? I want to know if these cold pressed juices are low in sugar content and if they do retain more vitamins compared to juice squeezed manually. And freshly squeezed packet juice from the supermarket which contains no preservatives. So I'm sending all three types of juices to the lab where their sugar and vitamin C content will be analysed. And after three days, I'm giving the lab report to Lo Winnie, a lecturer from Tomasic Polytechnic Centre for Applied Nutrition Services. She'll help me make sense of the results. So tell me, what are the test results? For sugar, the difference between all of them is not very significant. On average, they have about 4 to 5 teaspoons of sugar in each 250 ml. That would be about 50% of our uh, sugar allowance per day. It's also tested with vitamin C and the result appears to be more variable where the homemade orange juice would have the highest amount of vitamin C and followed by cold pressed orange juice and the least one would be the commercial orange juice. Because vitamin C itself is a very not stable um, nutrient. It's very light uh, heat as well as oxygen sensitive nutrient. So um, it depends on uh, how we prepare the orange juice. If let's say um, we cut the orange, and the moment we cut the orange exposed to the oxygen, uh, the nutrients start to degrade. If let's say the cold pressed juice, uh, the shop, they use the pre-cut oranges, there will be loss of vitamin C. Homemade orange juice seems to be the healthiest option because it has the most amount of vitamins and the least amount of sugar. Mm -hmm. Am I right? I would still encourage to um, take the fresh fruits because when you take the whole orange, you have the fibre and all of the vitamin uh, pack inside. Try to limit to maximum one cup of orange juice a day okay. as uh, recommended by Health Promotion Board. That's the maximum amount that you should drink. So whether it's your supermarket fruit juice or cold pressed juice from a juice bar or even the juice you make at home, the high sugar levels and the lack of fibre means that juices would never be as beneficial as compared to eating a fruit. But if I need to limit the amount of fruit juice I drink every day, then why are juice cleansers, which replace all your meals with just juice, marketed as something good? I'm putting my health on the line by going on a five-day juice detox. I'm hungry. And I feel weak and tired. You've probably heard about it. Juice cleansers or detox. Today, these juice cleansers are specially designed programs that typically last one, three or five days. The juice bar would send the customer a supply of cold pressed fruit juices. That's all you're going to take for all your meals for the entire duration of the cleanse. I've been looking through a few of these juice cleanse programs and they seem to offer two key things detoxing my body and weight loss but they come with a cost $65 to $100 per day If juices, even cold pressed ones, are so high in sugar how is this good for me? I'm going to buy a 5 day cleanse that's going to cost me $430. And I'm making sure this experiment is backed by medical science. I'm having my weight checked. I am 58.4 kgs. I have gained 3 kgs. Because juice cleanses usually promise weight loss, I'm also having my sugar levels checked to see just how much of a sugar spike I will get if I drink only fruit juices for five days. Oh, I'm very excited. This is going to be my breakfast, lunch and dinner for the next few days. I'm trying really hard to be positive. 
and I'm really looking forward for shoot to end so I can come home and drink my last three juices so I'm feeling very um, feeling very lightheaded and feeling like I need to faint I'm lying in bed and I'm hungry I am in a foul mood I understand that it detoxifies my body and I understand that it's good for you and it's good to fast and and I'm all for it and I and I love it but in this moment I'm tired and grumpy and I don't feel like drinking this and I pee a lot it's only been two days the end but this juice cleanse has physically drained me and I don't know whether I can continue with this I need some help And Yvonne Kong Ho might be the best person to ask. As a fitness enthusiast, she has already undergone five juice cleanses. So please tell me, how can I make this more bearable? I really wanted that sensation of chewing. Yeah. So the tip that was given to me actually was, you know, as you're drinking, don't drink it all at one go. Drink it, you know, shrivel it into your lip, into your mouth, and then pretend to chew a little. I know it sounds so sad, right? Yeah. Chew juice. It, you know, I felt like, I felt like, oh, I was just cheating myself, but it worked. I felt that pink Himalayan salt with water also helped. What I did was, when I was really a little off, I actually put the salt in my mouth. Ah. To, to eat one or two, like a, like a sweet, like a candy, Yeah, really helped. It has more electrolytes, it has more minerals, and it really helps to clear that brain fog. Because we still need the electrolytes. So can you talk to me about the benefits that you've gained from doing all these juice cleanses? You know, after the first cleanse, I feel very alert. I felt very sharp, you know. And after the juice cleanses, I always feel very energetic. I felt like, you know, the juices were actually like really causing through my vessels. Yeah, wow. I, there was this very nice glow on, the, you know, on the skin. Even when I work out, you know, when I run, I felt that I could just push another mouth. Right. Amazing, really yeah. amazing. With those tips in hand, I'm feeling a little more confident I can get through this. Today I think the body is just back on track and used to it and feel good actually. I have a huge rise in my energy levels. I'm so alive, I'm not complaining about being hungry. I felt so energised, I decided to hit the gym on day 4. So I just finished uh, my training. Honestly, I <laughs> I feel okay. Yeah, it's, it's a bit strange. But that didn't last. All right, so I've just finished uh, a three hour shoot. It's really difficult to be out and about and doing a juice fast at the same time. I think it's really made me seriously grumpy, really made me not like the experience. After five days of nothing in my body but juice, the moment of truth. I'm back to meet Dr. Lian to see if I've lost weight and if there's any change in my blood sugar levels. So this is your result. Mm -hmm. The reading shows that it's 4.7 and it is about the same as what you started off with. Basically, our body can adjust our own sugar level uh, even if you have a high sugar intake or you took a lot of chocolates or you took a lot of sweets. That's provided you are a, not a diabetic patient. I'm confused as to why I managed to lose 2 kgs even though I was drinking juice which is supposed to be high in calories, right? Because of the sugar. Basically, you lose weight when your the calorie that you're taking is less than the energy you use. Oh. oh, it smells so good! In your case, you take away your normal meals, right. so in the end, you lose weight. You lost 2 kilo in less than a week. That to me is too fast. Unhealthy weight loss can potentially affect your health. It can cause you to have low energy level, like what you have already experienced. It can cause your mood disturbances and even hormonal imbalance. I thought those symptoms was me detoxing, you know, like um, fatigue, low energy, um, uh, nausea, vomiting. I think that is a misconception. I think all these symptoms point to you having low energy level. Uh, it is not really symptoms of detoxing. 
So on day three, I had a spike in energy. Why do you think that happened? So did you only have a spike in energy level for only a day or was it sustained for throughout the five days? To be honest, day three was the only day where it was a really increased spike of energy. And then at uh, day four, I felt nauseous. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's not sustainable, this energy spike. So in the end, from day four onwards, you fell back to your low energy view again. Your symptoms may, may suggest that uh, you are actually having an unhealthy weight loss rather than your body getting used to the juice cleanse. Based on our discussion right now, it seems to me that juice cleanses don't work. Are they a gimmick? Well, I think you need to know uh, where the cleanse actually come from. The fruit juices did not actually detox your body and neither did it affect your liver. Yeah. In your five days of only drinking fruit juices, you did not eat any other uh, unhealthy things such as junk food, yeah. such as too much alcohol. So in a way, you are detoxing yourself in this manner. Mm -hmm. So in the end, you don't really need a fruit juice cleanse or fruit juice only diet to be able to detox. You just have to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Fruit juices may be a source of vitamins, but... I've realised it's just sugared water. Doesn't matter if it's store-bought, freshly squeezed at home or cold-pressed. And as far as juice cleanses are concerned, well, it's mostly hype and for me, not really worth the money. I, on the other hand, have switched to eating actual fruit with all the benefits nature has intended and because you only really appreciate the wonders of chewing after a five-day juice cleanse.